All right, let's talk about the ulnar artery. One of the terminal branches of the brachial artery, commencing at the cubital fossa here, coursing down the medial aspect of the forearm and terminating by division into three branches, which we'll get to in a moment. The ulnar artery has a total of six branches, which we can remember with the mnemonic anatomical pictures can definitely deeply please. That's, <laughs> we start off with the anterior ulnar recurrent, which is just here, which anastomoses with the posterior ulnar recurrent to contribute to the supply of the elbow joint. Next, we have the common interosseous artery, which divides to become the anterior and posterior interosseous arteries. These course down the forearm and on either side of this interosseous membrane here. And the posterior interosseous artery supplies extensor muscles of the forearm, particularly the, uh, the deep extensor muscles. And the anterior interosseous artery supplies the deep muscles of the flexor compartment of the anterior forearm. Moving further down now, we have the dorsal carpal branch, which is emerging just distal to the ulnar bone and courses around the posterior aspect to contribute to this dorsal carpal arch. Next, let's talk about the uh, deep palmar branch of the ulnar artery, which is just here. And we can consider the, the termination of the ulnar artery as the superficial palmar arch just here. But before we get to that, we should discuss the last of our mnemonic anatomical pictures can definitely deeply please, which is the palmar carpal branch. Uh, not represented in this model, but which courses across the carpal bones and anastomoses with its partner from the radial artery. So those six branches are all we need to cover in this video for the ulnar artery. Let's talk now about its anatomical relations. So we mentioned the flexor muscles of the anterior forearm. This is the flexor carpi radialis here, which if we remove, we can see the ulnar artery coursing underneath. We have the pronator teres muscle involved in pronation of the arm, which the ulnar artery runs above. The departure point of the common interosseus is at the lateral margin of the tendon of the flexor digitorum superficialis, which, which the ulnar artery then continues to, to run medial to as it makes its way towards the wrist has a close companion for the latter, for the majority of this course, which is the ulnar nerve. In the palm of the hand or the palmar aspect of the hand, we see the, the deep palmar branch of the ulnar artery forming the deep palmar arch posterior to the flexor tendons of the flexor, superfici uh, flexor digitorum superficialis. The superficial palmar arch runs anterior to these tendons. And that's it for the ulnar artery, a nice quick run through of the important anatomy and salient branches of the ulnar artery. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.